How's it going, guys? King of the Fourth Quarter here. We're back with the very first episode of our Pelicans My GMO. And you guys know how My GMO start. We basically got to go in there and show you guys what's going to go on this season. Starting off with me talking to the owner, Danny Roberts, who is the owner of the Pelicans and 2K. Basically, a lot of the times the owner gives you some objectives that are pretty undoable, but he actually gave us some pretty solid ones that we may be able to accomplish. One thing he did ask us for is to go trade out for some superstars and create a big three. I told him that was going to be hard to accomplish because like we don't have that many pieces to turn into great players, but we do have some pieces that we need to get rid of. And we're starting off with Eric Gordon. First day on the job, I'm making some big trades in this episode. So Eric Gordon is going to be off the team for a couple reasons. One, he told us that he's not going to sign back in offseason. Last year of his contract, making about 14 mil a year. And the second reason is really he's kind of undersized for his possession. He's what, 6'3", 6'4", shooting guard. Don't really like that. And the guy that we went out and traded for was Nicholas Batum. And it seems like the fans love that trade. You see right here in this interview, they said they're really interested. We traded for Nicholas Batum because he was one guy um, on a team we had to choose from. So it's between the Pelicans, the Hornets, and two other teams from the West. And since I couldn't bring the Hornets to this channel, I was like, let's go trade for one of the Hornets players. So that's exactly what we did. So the very next trade we're going to do, we're going to get rid of Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday, I know I know it kind of hurts some of you Pelicans fans, but he's pretty injury prone. And we have a guy, and uh, Tyreek Evans, who's 6'6 six, six or 6'7 ish, who can't run the point guard position. So we didn't need him. So we get rid of him and we bring in Evan Fournier, who's actually been having a stellar year. He's actually 78 overall in this game. So he brings some perimeter shooting and some all around scoring to the team. And that's exactly what we needed. So the next trade, along with that uh, Evan Fournier trade, we got Shannon Fry. Not a big fan, contract's really big, and we turned him into Marcus Moore. So we're making a lot of very quick trades to this team, and I think it's making our team a lot better. But since we made that trade, we have a lot of centers. We now have uh, Spencer Halls, who came, over, who came over from the Nicholas Batum trade, and I think that's Kendrick Perkins that we're trying to get rid of. And I basically turned him into a Raul, Nato, and Jeff Witte, um, just because those are two guys who can fill some position roles because we did need another backup point guard. And having too many centers, we got rid of another and bring in Jeff Witte, who's actually pretty solid. So the next thing we're going to do is change Tyreek Evans' position officially to point guard. Drop this overall just by two, which is not too bad. And we're going to show the final rotation. First day on the job, big trades. Point guard Tyreek Evans, shooting guard Evan Fournier, small forward. Uh, we have Nicholas Batum, power forward Anthony Davis, and center Omir Ashik. Don't know if I'm going to keep Ashik yet, but since Alexis Agensa is injured, he's going to be our big man right now. Next thing on the list, we're going to change the prices of the tickets. We're so much in debt with this Pelicans team, and I think our team is actually pretty good. So I know we can get fans out there because we're going to be winning games, and the pricing probably not the best we bumped it up to about 40 dollars a ticket i don't know if the fans are going to like that too much we'll see after this very first game right, now we're going through basically the final roster this is the roster that we're going to be rolling with for at least a while i um, not sure like i said if omir ashik is going to stay on this team until the end of the season let me know what i should do his contract is huge and he doesn't play that big of a role we could slide anthony davis over the center to start ryan anderson there's so many options with this team so the very next thing to do is to go play with the team. Our very first game is against the, the Golden State Warriors. So it's a team that knows how to win. So we got to go out there and try to get used to these players in the playbook. We're actually using the Pelicans playbook. I'm not going to do any customization to the playbook just yet. We're going to play a couple games and I'll see if there's plays in there that I don't really like. So in this uh, scrimmage, I actually set the goal. Um, us, the starters versus the bench guys. First one of 15 wins, and that's what you're going to see right here. Just us playing back and forth. And before this episode is actually over, I want to thank all you guys that basically voted on that last video. Where I asked you guys what team I should do next. You guys were great, man. We had about 200 votes, which is way more than I expected. So thank you, everybody that voted. And I actually like this Pelicans team that we put together. Let me know if I made the right moves. Were these trades, like, nice? Did I make this team better, or did I make it worse? Did I blow things up and made it worse? I'm not too sure, but I like it. Right here, Tyreek Evans is going to uh, put Norris Cole in the mix, man. I'm looking forward to that. He's 6'6", a point guard. He's going to be destroying those smaller guards. Right there, Anthony Davis with a big bucket. I'm looking forward to making him the MVP that he should be because this year he has been playing too great. And that's 15 points right there, guys. It's pretty much the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave it a like. It's the king of the fourth quarter. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out, man.